name is Brooke Clark, and this is a comment on the TED Talk that Nick did in March 2012 in Long Beach. And apparently TED hasn't put it online yet, or maybe they're just slow. Um, the idea is about the tax for the rich. Now let me just tell you a little history. In 1980, I looked across the street from a doctor who was making a lot of money. And at that time, the marginal tax rate, that was to be the tax on his next dollar, was something like 80%. So the smart thing that he did was buy tax losses. Can you say intangible drilling rights or oil depletion allowances or crazy stuff like that? So he could spend, say, $100,000, buy a tax loss, and then tell the government that he lost two or $300,000, a lot more than what he paid for the, the loss. And that, would, that was smart, because the IRS was taking 80% of his profits, and he was in control of the whole thing. So buying losses was, you know, for him made sense. But it's just a waste of money. I mean, it's money down a rat hole. So in the primary, Ronald Reagan was running against G.H.W. Bush, and Reagan proposed cutting taxes. And Bush called it voodoo economics. It doesn't seem to make sense. If you lower the taxes, the government's going to take in more money. It's counterintuitive. And the Republicans never have got this right. But a guy named Laffer, L-A-F-F-E-R, you can look him up on Wiki, or I'll stick a, a curve in this video. The idea is, if the tax rate is 0%, the government you know, is going to not take in much money. Some people will just make charitable contributions, but it's going to be pretty low. If the government taxes at 100%, most people are going to quit. They're not going to work and give all their money to the government. So on one end of the curve, it's 0, and the other end of the curve, it's 0. Somewhere in the, in the middle, you, know, you, you make the most money. So in 1980, we're way at the right end of the curve. And lowering the marginal rate actually worked, and, and the Reagan administration took in a lot of money. Today, we're on the other extreme end of the curve. The tax rate for the rich is low, and they're even arguing it should be lower. No, it needs to go up, probably somewhere in the 40 to 50 percent range, not where it is now. For the same reason that Ronald Reagan did it, the Laffer curve. It's really simple. So have fun, and <laughs> hope this makes some sense.